In the cosmic dance of life, two energies intertwine, creating a rhythm that transcends time and space. These are the divine masculine and feminine. Imagine two dancers, each with their own unique style and rhythm, yet moving together in a harmonious ballet. This is the essence of the divine feminine and masculine energies. They are not confined to the realms of physical gender, but rather they exist within each of us, shaping our thoughts, feelings, and actions. Picture the divine feminine energy, a gentle yet powerful force, nurturing and compassionate. It's like the earth, providing life and sustenance, a haven of comfort and care. It is intuitive, deeply connected with the emotions and the unseen, an energy that values relationships, cooperation, and harmony. Now envision the divine masculine energy. It's like the sun, radiant and strong, a beacon of light and warmth. This energy is logical, action-oriented, and protective. It values structure, direction, and purpose. It is that which builds, protects, and provides a force that is assertive and goal-oriented. Yet these two energies, as different as they may seem, are not at odds with each other. Rather, they are complementary, each bringing their unique strengths and qualities to the dance. The Divine Feminine fosters creativity and empathy, while the Divine Masculine provides structure and direction. Together they create a balance, a harmony, a unity. This dance of the Divine is not about pitting one against the other, but rather about understanding their interplay and achieving a balance within ourselves. It's about realizing that we each carry both energies within us, and that harnessing these energies can lead to a more balanced, fulfilling life. The Divine Feminine and Masculine are not about gender, but about energy. They are the cosmic yin and yang, dancing in harmony within us. This dance, this synergy, is a beautiful testament to the interconnectedness of all things, and it's this balance that keeps the universe in motion. The Divine Feminine is an energy that is nurturing, intuitive, and receptive. Let's delve into these qualities that define the Divine Feminine energy. Nurturing is the first characteristic that springs to mind. It's the kind of love that a mother has for her child, unconditional and boundless. It's the warm embrace that provides comfort and the gentle hand that guides. The Divine Feminine is nurturing, not just in the sense of motherhood, but in every aspect of life. It is the loving energy that nourishes the soul and fosters growth. Next, we have intuition. The Divine Feminine is inherently intuitive. This is the ability to understand or know something without any direct evidence or reasoning process. It's that gut feeling, that inner voice that guides us even when logic might suggest otherwise. It's the Divine Feminine that connects us to our intuition, helping us navigate life with a deeper sense of knowing. Then there is creativity. The Divine Feminine is the birthplace of all creation, from the creation of new life to the creation of art, music, literature, and ideas. This energy is intrinsically linked with the ability to bring new things into existence. Compassion and emotional understanding are also integral aspects of the Divine Feminine. It is an energy that empathizes, that feels deeply, and is not afraid to express those feelings. It is the kind of energy that understands the power of vulnerability and isn't afraid to show it. Lastly, the Divine Feminine is about receiving, allowing, nurturing, and loving. It is an open and welcoming energy, one that allows life to flow freely. It is about being open to receiving love, joy, and abundance. It is about nurturing and caring for oneself and others, about giving love and receiving it in return. All these characteristics come together to form a powerful, nurturing, and life-giving force. A force that is not only creative and intuitive, but also deeply compassionate and emotionally intelligent. The Divine Feminine is the creative, nurturing force that brings life into existence and sustains it with love. The Divine Masculine is an energy that is action-oriented, logical, and protective. This is not a statement about gender but rather about the inherent energy within each of us that we can tap into and harness. Let's delve into the characteristics of the Divine Masculine. First and foremost, the Divine Masculine is action-oriented. This energy is not about passivity or waiting for things to happen. Instead, it urges forward motion, driving us to make changes, to pursue our goals, and to take risks. It's the force that encourages us to step out of our comfort zones and explore new territories. The Divine Masculine is also logical. 
It values reason, analysis, and strategic thinking. It's the part of us that seeks to understand the world around us, to solve problems, and to make sense of complex situations. This energy is not swayed by emotions or impulses, but instead relies on facts and rationality. Protection is another key aspect of the divine masculine. This energy is not about domination or control. Rather, it's about safeguarding what is dear to us. Whether it's our loved ones, our beliefs, or our dreams, the divine masculine energy helps us defend and uphold these elements with courage and determination. And then, there's strength. The divine masculine embodies resilience and fortitude. It's this energy that helps us endure hardships, overcome challenges, and maintain our integrity in the face of adversity. It's the steadfast force that keeps us grounded when the winds of change threaten to sweep us off our feet. But the divine masculine is not just about strength and protection. It's also about giving, directing, moving, and decisiveness. It's the energy that propels us to take initiative, to lead, and to make decisions. It's the force that helps us carve out our own path and shape our destiny. In essence, the Divine Masculine is the protective, decisive force that provides structure and direction. It's the energy that helps us navigate the world with confidence, courage, and clear-mindedness. And when balanced with the Divine Feminine, it creates a harmonious dance of life, where each energy complements and strengthens the other. The Divine Feminine is irresistible to her Divine Masculine, as they are two halves of the same whole. It's a profound truth that echoes through all of existence, a cosmic ballet of energies that shapes our realities and our relationships. Picture the divine feminine and masculine as two sides of a coin. They are distinct yet inseparable, each possessing its unique attributes. The divine feminine represents nurturing, creation, and intuition. On the other hand, the divine masculine embodies logic, strength, and action. Together, they form a perfect balance, a complete unity. Now let's delve into the concept of twin flames. This notion is steeped in spiritual wisdom and has been around for centuries. Twin flames are thought to be two souls that originated from the same source, split into two, and then journeyed through different lifetimes and experiences. They are essentially two halves of a single soul, forever seeking to reunite with each other. The irresistible attraction between the Divine Feminine and Masculine is the magnetic pull that brings these twin flames together. It's a profound longing for unity, for balance, for wholeness. This attraction is not merely physical or emotional. It's spiritual, it's cosmic. It transcends the boundaries of the material world and touches the very core of our souls. But why are these energies attracted to each other? It's because they are seeking to learn from each other, to grow, and to evolve. The Divine Feminine learns strength from the Divine Masculine, while the Divine Masculine learns compassion from the Divine Feminine. It's a dance of energies, a harmonious exchange that leads to spiritual growth and ascension. In this Divine Dance, the Feminine and Masculine are not competing but complementing. They are not seeking to overpower each other but to balance each other. Each draws the other into a deeper harmony, a deeper understanding of self and the universe. It's a beautiful, eternal dance of love and unity that reflects the very essence of existence. In the divine dance, the feminine and masculine are not competing but complementing, each drawing the other into a deeper harmony. In every individual, the balance of divine, feminine, and masculine energies is crucial for personal growth and spiritual evolution. You see, these energies are not about gender, but rather about the forces of yin and yang that exist within us all. The Divine Feminine represents the nurturing, intuitive, and creative aspects of our nature, while the Divine Masculine embodies strength, logic, and action. Both are essential for holistic living, and when balanced, they can lead to a state of harmony and fulfillment. But what happens when there's an imbalance? Imagine a boat, if you will. If it tips too far to one side, it becomes unstable and may capsize. Similarly, if we lean too heavily on either the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine, we may find ourselves feeling unsteady, restless, or incomplete. An overemphasis on the Divine Masculine might manifest as aggression, dominance, or an incessant need for control. On the other hand, 
An excess of divine feminine energy could lead to passivity, emotional instability, or a lack of direction. But it's not just about personal issues. An imbalance can also create spiritual discord. By tilting too far towards one energy, we may find ourselves disconnected from the divine whole. We might feel lost or as if we're drifting aimlessly on a sea of uncertainty. So how do we restore this balance? It begins with self-awareness. By recognizing our tendencies towards one energy over the other, we can start to bring our divine masculine and feminine into equilibrium. We can cultivate qualities that we may have been neglecting and learn to embrace both energies within us. It's a journey of self-discovery and growth, of learning to navigate the waters of our inner world with grace and balance. And it's a journey that can lead us to a place of inner peace, of knowing that we are complete just as we are. Harmonizing the divine feminine and masculine within us is the key to a fulfilled and balanced life. Embracing our divine feminine and masculine energies is a journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. Now, how can we embark on this journey? How can we nurture these energies within ourselves? Let's delve into that. Firstly, meditation. It's a powerful tool that allows us to connect with our inner self. Through meditation, we can tap into our divine energies, calming the mind and creating a space where we can explore our true essence. A daily meditative practice can bring us closer to our divine masculine and feminine helping us to understand and embrace them. Affirmations are another practical approach. These are positive, empowering statements that we repeat to ourselves to reinforce our self-belief and align our thoughts with our divine energies. For the divine feminine, affirmations may revolve around nurturing, intuition, and compassion. For the divine masculine, they might focus on strength, protection, and assertiveness. By regularly repeating these affirmations, we begin to internalize these qualities and embrace our divine energies. Self-reflection is an integral part of this journey. It's about taking time to introspect, to understand our feelings, our reactions, our desires. It's about recognizing the balance of divine, feminine, and masculine energies within us. Are we leaning too much towards one? Are we suppressing the other? Through honest self-reflection, we can identify these patterns and work towards achieving a better balance. Embracing our divine energies isn't about changing who we are. It's about acknowledging all aspects of our being and expressing them authentically. It's about understanding that we all have both divine feminine and masculine energies within us, and that these energies are not opposing forces but complementary ones. They work together creating a harmonious balance that allows us to live fully and authentically. So embark on this journey. Meditate, affirm, reflect. Embrace your divine feminine and masculine. Nurture them, balance them. And as you do, you'll find yourself growing, evolving, becoming more in tune with your true self. As we embrace our divine feminine and masculine, we step into our power and live authentically. When we harness the power of the divine feminine and masculine, we become co-creators of our reality. And so, we find ourselves at the heart of spiritual evolution, where we are no longer mere spectators, but active participants in the unfolding drama of existence. The divine feminine and masculine energies aren't just about gender or biology. Rather, they represent a spectrum of energies that exist within us all from the nurturing, intuitive energy of the Divine Feminine to the assertive, rational energy of the Divine Masculine, these are the forces that shape our inner world and, consequently, our outer reality. But how does this empower us, you may ask? Well, consider this. Our world is a reflection of our beliefs, thoughts, and emotions. When we balance the Divine Feminine and Masculine within us, we harmonize our inner world. This harmony then radiates outward, influencing our perception and experience of reality. For example, imagine you desire to manifest a loving relationship. By embracing the nurturing energy of the divine feminine, you cultivate love within yourself. Simultaneously, by harnessing the assertive energy of the divine masculine, you take action to find or attract a partner. Together, these energies empower you to create the reality you desire. But it's more than just manifesting desires. Embracing these energies also leads to spiritual growth. 
The Divine Feminine encourages us to trust our intuition and express our emotions, leading to emotional healing and self-awareness. Meanwhile, the Divine Masculine pushes us to confront challenges and assert our boundaries, fostering personal strength and self-respect. This dance of energies, this union of opposites, is a powerful alchemical process. It transforms us from passive beings into active, empowered co-creators. It allows us to shape our lives in alignment with our highest aspirations, to manifest our heart's desires, and fulfill our soul's purpose. In conclusion, the power of the Divine Feminine and Masculine lies not just in their individual strengths, but in their balanced, harmonious union. By embodying these energies, we become more than just players in the grand cosmic drama. We become the directors, the scriptwriters, the architects of our own destiny. By embodying the Divine Feminine and Masculine, we become the architects of our own destiny. The Divine Feminine and Masculine are not just concepts, but vital energies that shape our lives. As we draw our exploration to a close, let's revisit the fascinating journey we've embarked on today. We've delved into the profound depths of the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine, two energies that are not just mere concepts, but fundamental forces that shape our existence, our relationships, our spiritual growth. We've unpacked the Divine Feminine, the nurturing, intuitive, and creative force, the yin in the yin-yang balance. She is the embodiment of love, compassion, and wisdom, the life-giving energy that creates and sustains life. Likewise, we have explored the Divine Masculine, the Provider, the Protector, the Yang in the Yin-Yang balance. He is the embodiment of strength, courage, and integrity, the driving force that brings about order and stability. We've discovered that these two energies are irresistibly attracted to each other, forming an eternal dance of cosmic unity. Like twin flames, they seek each other out, drawn by a magnetic pull that's as old as the universe itself. Their dance is one of balance and harmony, of give and take, of creation and destruction. We have also learned that balancing these energies within ourselves is a key to personal and spiritual growth. It's about embracing both the nurturing and the assertive, the intuitive and the logical, the creative and the structured. It's about finding that sweet spot where the divine feminine and the divine masculine are in perfect harmony, making us whole, making us divine. Finally, we've recognized the immense power these energies possess. When we align with them, we align with the universe, with the divine. We become co-creators of our reality, capable of manifesting our highest potential, our deepest desires. In the cosmic dance of life, may we all find harmony in our divine feminine and masculine, and dance to the rhythm of our soul's song.